Hello, in this session, we are going to discuss about the well distortions. Any unwanted physical change or uh, departure from the specification in a fabricated structure or component as a consequence of welding is known as weld distortion. Here uh, we can see the two images. In the image one, we can see the distortion in sheet due to welding, and in the other image, we can see the simulation of a T joint welding, which is subjected to distortion. Here are the main causes of distortion non uniform expansion and contraction, that is, uh, shrinkage due to plastic thermal strain of the weld metal and base metal during the heat and cooling cycle internal stresses formed in the base metal due to removing restraints given to the weld by the fixed component surrounding it so both welding processes and procedures and material properties affect the extent of distortion here are the effects of distortion it complicates the further fabrication uh, distortions reduce uh, reduces the application of structure it also uh, uh, elevates the cost of uh, rectifying deformation now let us understand the significance of uh, material properties uh, in the uh, context of weld distortion as far as the coefficient of thermal expansion alpha is concerned the lower coefficient of uh, thermal expansion is required for less distortions. As far as thermal conductivity is concerned, high thermal conductivity leads to low thermal gradients. Uh, in terms of yield strength, lower the yield strength of the parent material, lower the residual stresses causing distortions. Uh, as far as the modulus of elasticity is concerned, higher the modulus of elasticity, stiffness of the parent material uh, so lower will be the distortions here are the influences of welding processes and procedures on distortions as far as welding processes are concerned concentrated heat source is, should be there in order to reduce the distortion high welding speed should be practiced uh, the penetration of the weld pass should be deeper. Uh, single pass welding or less weld runs should be there. We should avoid the multiple runs uh, to have the less distortions. As far as the amount of weld metal is concerned, minimum amount of weld metal should be there. Uh, the third point is welding speed. Maximum welding speed minimizes heat spread and built up solidification of weld metal should be controlled the fourth point is the edge penetration and fit up uniform edge penetration uh, preparation to allow consistent shrinkage along the joint close fit ups as far as welding procedures are concerned it should be mechanized single pass and high speed welds now let us discuss the various types of welding distortions. The very first among them is buckling and twisting, longitudinal shrinkage uh, causing distortions, the distortions due to transverse shrinkage, rotational distortions, longitudinal distortions also known as uh, bowing and bending, and the angular distortion. Here on your screen we can see uh, the uh, somatic view of the distortions in welding in various different different conditions the transverse shrinkage longitudinal shrinkage uh, rotational distortion buckling distortion and angular distortion here uh, we can see the longitudinal shrinkage of the material given in the diagram uh, shrinkage in the direction of the weld axis is known as the uh, longitudinal shrinkage 
the main causes uh, for the longitudinal shrinkage is the uh, preheat or fast cooling problem shrinkage stress in the high constrained areas uh, it can be prevented using the the given points weld towards the areas of less constraint weld short length also preheat to even out the cooling rate a straightening press jacks clamp should be used in order to prevent the longitudinal shrinkage here is another diagram representing the other parameters in case of the uh, fillet weld and the uh, butt weld here we can see the uh, distortion due to transfer shrinkage here we may see uh, the original uh, size in the first image uh, shrinkage running into or inside a weld transfers to the weld axis direction is known as transfer shrinkage the cause uh, the main cause for it uh, the weld metal hardness problem constraint applied to the weld joint uh, here the image is shown for the uh, weld uh, but weld joint these are the other diagram showing the various parameters for the uh, fillet weld or and the uh, uh, for the t joint and the lap joints showing the transfer shrinkage now here we can see a comparison uh, between the longitudinal and transfer shrinkage for butt weld and the fillet weld Now let us discuss the angular distortion. Uh, weld tends to be wider at the top than the bottom, causing more solidification shrinkage and thermal contraction. For double V edge butt weld joint, it depends upon root face and the root gap. Fillet weld joint, it depends upon the flange width weld leg length and the flange thickness angular distortion depends on these uh, factors the width and depth of fusion zone relative to the plate thickness type of joint weld pass sequence thermomechanical material properties and heat input per unit length of weld distribution of heat source density in the second image we can easily visualize the angular distortion if in case of single run and also in the normal cases angular distortion occurs at butt lap t corner joints due to single sided as well as asymmetrical double sided welding uh, here are the prevention methods reducing volume of weld metal using double V joint and alternate welding placing weld around the neutral axis presetting by compensating the amount of distortion to occur in welding and uh, elastic pre springing can reduce angular uh, changes after strain is removed and the preheating and post weld treatment may also prevent the angular distortions now let us come to bowing or uh, longitudinal bending here this diagram shows us that uh, how uh, the if in this way the distortion happens uh, we call it as a bowing or a longitudinal belt uh, bending it happens when the uh, weld line does not coincide with the neutral axis of the weld structure longitudinal shrinkage of the weld metal induces the bending moment amount of uh, distortion depends on shrinkage moment resistance of the member to bending uh, uh, here we can uh, 
calculate the distortion using this expression. Where A represents the cross-sectional area of the weld, D represents the distance from the center of gravity to the outermost fiber, L represents the length of the weld, and I represents the moment of inertia. Now let us come to rotational distortion. Here we can see the rotational distortion on the sheet. In this sheets being uh, but welded either come closer to each other or the distance between them is widened. Such a distortion is known as a rotational distortion and it depends on the thickness of the parent material, temperature difference between a molten pool and the non-heated parent material. That means that is, that is the distance, the difference in the heat flow. So it also depends on the speed of welding and the heat source. These are the another examples of the images showing the rotational distortion. In the first image, uh, progressively welding material at widely different heat input is shown. And in the second image, expanding and contracting zone in the arc, but welding are shown. Let us come to buckling distortion. Here we can see a diagram representing the buckling distortion. When the thin plates are welded, considerable residual stresses occur in the area away from the weld and cause buckling. In the second image, we can see a diagram which is made between a graph which is made between critical thickness and the breadth of the plate. Now here we come to the twisting distortion. In case of twisting distortion, uh, twisting is due to the low torsional resistance of the thin material. The uh, images in the diagram are uh, showing the same that how a twist can be observed after the solidification of the cooling down of the weld. Thank you.